Raidler Kermes in Australia. So I thought I'd do a quick video just on how, how to race uh, abroad. Uh, this is particularly for British, British like license holders, uh, British cycling license holders, but I think it probably will apply for other people, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so basically, all I did, it was actually very simple. I got my letter of authority from British Cycling. So you basically just go on the internet and search race, race abroad, like race as abroad as a British cycling membership. And there's a page, you basically need to email them and say, I'm this number, whatever your number is, like 995 or whatever it is. And then after that, they basically send you a letter saying, here you go, you can race in Australia, you've got insurance. Um, and then that's it pretty much. Uh, and then when you turn up to the race, like for this race, you have to apply online. So I thought, um, I can't really apply online because I don't have a Cycling Australia membership. So instead, what I did was um, I just emailed the people directly and said, look, I'm, race I'm here from the UK. I've got my authority to race. Like, is it possible to race? And they're really friendly, the Norwood Cycling Club people. And they were like, yeah, yeah, sure, it's fine. Um, you can race. Uh, and that was it. So then I turned up, had my British Cycling membership, gave it to them, gave my letters. They had a little look at the letters, didn't really inspect it too much. And we're like, yeah, that looks good. Um, so yeah, it was pretty easy to do, to be honest. Uh, everyone was pretty friendly. No one was like really too bothered about it or anything, which is nice. Um, and gen generally, like it was, it was a pretty easy process, to be honest. Um, obviously, for, for different countries, it's probably slightly different. But to race in Australia, I found it to be very easy, uh, which is very nice. Um, well, how does it compare to the UK? Um, I'd say it's probably similar. To, like, well, obviously, I think Australia has the different cities have like massively different fitness levels if that sounds like as in like some people I knew were racing from Brisbane or Sydney or Melbourne and they'd be racing in different categories because I think Adelaide generally has harder racing um but the racing it was pretty much like a a three four race maybe a little bit weaker than a three four race um in the UK um I mean objectively this was 266 weighted average power um for Strava one so that's like two two and ninety normalized and like a three four road race in the UK, which is like two hours long. I wonder maybe an hour forty was about two six four weighted, and I think two eight five normalized. So roughly the same, more or less. Um, obviously this is a shorter race; it's only only an hour. And some of the crits I've done have been up to like three hundred normalized power before, um, or a little, or like two ninety or whatever. Um, in Hog Hill, obviously it just depends on the circuit, but. Yeah, for sure, This the racing is pretty similar to the UK. And um, I'd say in Adelaide, I just race the same category as you are. Obviously, A grade has some absolute hitters in it. Um, but it's quite good here because they have A, B, C, D. I'd say, yeah, just race the same category and see how you get on. Because um, obviously here, you in Australia, you don't you don't gain points or anything. You just you just give, basically nominate what category you're in. Um, and then, yeah, that's it pretty much just very chilled racing like you have, there are a couple of weird things so like for this race I had to wear a, a weird helmet to like identify the color that you were on and I also had the weird helmet things oh, sorry sorry I talked about the helmet and you have to have a, a red light flashing on the back which is a bit weird I don't think many people had them or I think everyone had them but you can really see them or like anyway it, it, that was a bit weird but obviously just check uh depending on what race you ra what race you're doing you just need to figure out what um, what rules you have to do but apart from that GoPros are allowed in racing in Australia which is pretty good uh, so I enjoyed that um, I think that's pretty much it to be honest um, I've got the rest of the video um, which I'll probably well I'll upload a bit more of this footage if you need want any more footage or me describing this first part I'm just going in the break with this random guy uh, and they're getting dropped off the back a bit but I managed to get back on and then we rolled some turns uh, for about two laps or whatever um but yeah, it was a good race, um, quite enjoyable, um, good similar sound to the UK, I'd say, uh, which is nice. Obviously, I hadn't raced for a bit, so maybe maybe it was slightly weaker. I'm not 100% sure. Like It wasn't the hardest race I've been in, for sure, but I don't know. Anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you in the next vid.